Hi, I'm David Langer, Technical Manager for Technology and Automation for EpiRock, and today we're going to discuss how to do an RCS software update on a Pit Viper. Okay, when doing an RCS software update, you want to make sure that you save the parameters first. So we have already saved our parameters to this memory stick, and before turning the key on, you have to have the memory stick already in the USB port. Once the stick is inserted, you can turn on the key. and the display will go to service mode. Once the display is in service mode, it'll check the status of the network. So right now it's checking to see which components are in the network. So here's a list of all the network components. And this particular example, the CCI is not installed on this machine, so it has a icon letting you know that and it shows all the other devices that are there if everything looks right here you want to choose update again it's going to say have you saved the parameters if at this point you had not saved the parameters you could choose no and go back and have a chance to save them but since we have we're going to say yes And the only device that's getting the update on this one is the display. The IOs did not update because the program that we're loading is identical, so it's only updating the difference. You can choose a force update and it'll load all devices. The update is now complete, so we're going to turn off the key. And at this point, you would reboot the computer and reload the parameters. For more information, contact your local EpiRock service center or dealer.